now people are very clear that we are sitting on a disaster. Mr. Modi is incapable of solving the employment problem. I don't see any response. I don't even see the capability of a response. There is a there is a huge pressure on our students, and the pressure comes from a number of directions. The first direction is the large scale un unemployment that is there in the country. Everybody understands it, everybody knows it and one of the reasons uh, the government suffered in this election was that all youngsters believe that Mr. Modi is incapable of solving the employment problem. So that's the first thing. Second thing is there's huge pressure because of this and there are very few avenues for students uh, in all areas. right? So you've cut off the job avenue, now you're cutting off the exam avenue, you're saying, you know, you can take an exam, you can study, you can work as hard as you want. On the last date, we're going to tell you that the exam is cancelled. So, you know, uh, that avenue is also shut. You've shut avenues like Agnivir. You've shut avenues like the public sector. So, the youth of India have nowhere to go. It doesn't matter whether you're an IIT graduate, IIT student, or you're trying to join the army. The youngsters in India simply have no way through. And it's not just an educational crisis. It's a crisis in pretty much every sphere that we are facing. Now, before the elections, it was very clear that there was massive control of the media, massive uh, control of the other institutions, so people were quiet. Now people are very clear that we're sitting on a disaster and we've got a government that is crippled, cannot do the job. It's literally walking around on one leg, right? So, yes, it's a crisis. It's a profound national crisis. It's an economic crisis. It's an educational crisis. It's an institutional crisis. So, uh, but I don't see any response. I don't even see the capability of a response.